good morning good people how are you we are doing fine in dubai as you can see yeah so today we just woke up actually today we are feeling so tired we are exhausted because we never rest we just up and down here in the city we don't have enough time so we have to keep on moving yeah so today we are so tired, we slept for long. Yeah, it's just a lazy day, but going to Daira city center. Yeah, so we've had our breakfast already before. Yeah, today we just had something simple because it was so tiring. So we are going to the metro station, DMCC, just around our hotel. We take the metro to Daira city. We have about 18 stops on the way, so it's like an hour or less, but might might be less because the train goes so fast. Yeah. So let's go to Data City. We see what's available there. Yeah. Then later in the evening we will be going for the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah. We'll have this nice view from my room. Yeah. Very nice, but more nicer at night. That's how you may a guy, guy. You know, person, you're back in Iowa, but Dubai, so. No money left. to the metro station yeah we get in from this point then we go and get the train from the other side yeah so today we are going on the red side i think <laughs> there's the red and the green side so yeah it's hot by the way i think because we are next to the ocean plus the gulf so hot right now but the good thing even if it's hot outside when you get inside the room the hotel rooms the buses the trains the AC and a proper one that works very very well yeah let's get it go yeah this is the mcc train station yeah Today we know what you're doing, so we're not worried. <laughs> Yesterday was kind of tricky because it was new to us. <laughs> so the reason we are taking the train is because it's cheaper. Yeah, because when you take the taxis, it becomes a bit expensive. Yeah, taxis will cost us about a hundred dirhams to get to that place that's around 3000 kenya shillings that's the least yeah so but the train will take around eight dirhams that's like 240 300 bob yeah so it's better going with the train because we you save money we just realized that yesterday but on the business base side it was easy using taxis because the places were a bit near but down to the marina side it's very far away from the business side like let's say for instance data city where we are going is like 24 kilometers away so you see that's far and then the uber counts as you move so we will spend more train is the solution that's why dubai is a place for everyone yeah you can spend the lowest that you have so let's go <laughs> Your attention, please. The train to Kingston 2020 will arrive at platform 2. Your attention, please. The train to yeah. And also, we were told to keep the seats away, the tickets away from the front because. I don't know what happened, but yesterday we had. Yeah. Attention, please. The train to Center Point will arrive at platform 
The next station is Dubai Internet City. The next station is Dira City Center. We are here at Dira. Let's get in and see what we will find there. Two thousand years later. So we went to the mall and got back to our hotel. It was very late. Yeah, because we needed to be picked up at five, so it was late getting there because the, the city center was very far away. So we have just been picked heading to Burj Khalifa and the Dubai Aquarium. Yeah, so hoping to enjoy our time there. Yeah, today we've been a bit late, but you know, it was the traffic that kept us and plus the place was fun. So let's go and explore the tallest building in the whole world. It is a major attraction in the world, the Dubai Aquarium and the Dawota Zoo. It is one of the world's biggest suspended water tanks, imagine in the whole world. So the Dubai Aquarium and the Dawota Zoo is a home to thousands of aquatic animals, like over 150 different species of aquatic animals. It has over 300 sharks and whales. Uh, it, is, it also includes the world's largest collection of sun tiger sharks. This place is just nice. It is one of the most captivating attractions in Dubai. Just located at the Dubai which is also the largest mall in the world. It offers a memorable journey into the ocean life. The aquarium holds about 10 million meters of water. Can you imagine how big it is? Making it the biggest in the world. Yeah. So let's enjoy the aquarium. Then we will go to the underwater zoo, which is just above it. Let's enjoy the scenery. Just look at the different type of fish available here. Then we go up to the underwater zoo. Getting inside. Look at this one. What? What?
The underwater zoo is still part of the Dubai Aquarium as well. It's just above the Dubai Aquarium. It brings visitors up close with penguins, crabs, seahorses, jellyfish, and plenty more different aquatic animals. Yeah. But the fascinating addition to the underwater zoo is the the they've added king croc like a big big crocodile into the zoo yeah which is regarded as the nature's rare phenomenon and one of the world's largest reptiles yeah it is over five meters long and weighing about 750 kgs can you imagine how big it is yeah so the underwater zoo also regularly hosts innovative exhibits of the of Dubai. For instance, UAE's night creatures are there. <laughs> that part was so scary. At the night creatures area, you you are not supposed to put on light. You just go the way you are, and it is so dark. That was so scary for me, but we enjoyed it. So enjoy the rest of the zoo, my people. We meet up after.
Yes, welcome. to Burj Khalifa but our appointment is at 8 p.m. and it's at 7 so we have one hour maybe we go to Starbucks and have Starbucks coffee then we go to Burj Khalifa and just view Dubai city from the tallest floor that is the 125th floor yeah uh -huh. no, and skating It is so amazing to see our coffee in the competitive market of Dubai. Amazing! Yes! Go with your beans. Yeah, I go with my beans. I don't know what to do. We want something new that we've not tested yeah. before. You have the chocolate? Chocolate? Hot chocolate? Yeah, you have. That one is regular. Try something new, like this one. Like which one? Again. Which one is that? This one we call Chemex. Chemex. Name came from the Chemex. Chemist, you know? So it has a lot of chemicals. <laughs> yeah, I just want, I just want oh. chocolate me. Can I, I get a, can I get cappuccino? Cappuccino, yes. You order that. Okay, that's the line? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> okay. My people, welcome to Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa, as you know, is the tallest building in the world. It is in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates. Burj Khalifa is 828 meters tall. The construction of Burj Khalifa began in the year 2004, and then it was completed in five years. That was in 2009 initially it was referred to as Burj Dubai but it was changed to Burj Khalifa in honor of the ruler of Abu Dhabi and the president of the United Arab Emirates who was referred to as Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan yeah so nowadays it referred to as 
Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. This is amazing. The structure of Burj Khalifa was inspired by a desert flower called spider lily. That's what architect Adrian Smith used in designing Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa has a total of 163 floors. It is the tallest building in the world. It is the tallest freestanding structure in the world. It has the highest number of stories in the world. It is the high it has also the highest occupied floor in the world. It has the highest outdoor observation deck in the world and also the elevator ha has the it has an elevator with the longest travel distance in the world tallest service elevator in the world so we are going at the 125th floor and also we will go so get to see the, from the views from 124th floor as well but it has 163 floors as i have said so you can go to higher floors if you like but the higher you go the higher the amount of money you pay for that so 125 i think is just the best for us i am bush cliff excavation began in 2004 for bush Khalifa building Infrastructure started in 2005. 2006. 2007, they got a level 100. Level 150, world's tallest freestanding structure. Level 160, world's tallest man made structure. 2009. Completion of the spiral. 2009 cladding was also completed. Let's explore Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa is great. Actually, several movies have also been shot at Burj Khalifa. We just realized that we didn't even notice that in the movies. Maybe because we were not so keen about it. In the elevators, it's not boring because they also tell you stories about Burj Khalifa and also stories about Dubai. In the elevators, it's just so, so nice. This country is just on another level. I love everything about Dubai and I can't wait to see the views from the tallest building. You can see we are at the 828, it is 828 meters from the screen you can see this is us at the 125th floor amazing views you see the whole city but every building is now so tiny like those that you used to see so tall when you are just down in the, on the on, on the ground are now so tiny but it's amazing because the city is all well lit this is nice dubai is a destination to visit my people this is the best for you Happy to see JW Marius from Burj Khalifa. You can see the way they are lighting. Yeah, that's the hotel, the tallest stunning five star hotel in the world. Do you notice the difference? This is the 124th floor. We came down one floor from 125th to 124th. So the views here are more clearer than when you are at the 125th floor. So you 
when you want clear views don't go to so high floors but just to view with your eyes you can go to any other floor that you feel like so 124th floor like is like an open space let me call it a big balcony it's an open space where you now just view it from your naked eyes like 125th floor is all covered with glass but on the 124th floor it's covered with glass but you can view also without the glass yeah like it's an open space i hope you understand what i mean the views amazing infrastructure top notch i love to buy <laughs>
que voy coro. Pero, que sí me indica el ninilón. Just within the Dubai Mall, the yeah, York system through the Dubai Mall, yeah. So that's also a wonderful thing to see. Then we just came to food court to get food. Actually, we realized that the food, food from the food courts are always a bit cheaper and affordable than those from the restaurant. So most of the times these days we take food from the food courts, yeah, or the KFC, Baba Burger King, those small outlets because like you find food from like 19 dirhams 8 dirhams so that's affordable and like the restaurants when you go we spend like over 200 so today we just decided it's food outlets for food courts for the whole day so we're just here i'm still eating my food i uh, got some barbecue chicken barbecue and rice corn with the uh, fuesta. Fuesta, I don't know if she said it's flavored iced tea or something like that. Yeah, I got this food from something called Kasun Grill. Yeah, I think it's a Chinese thing or something. Yeah, but the food is so amazing. I've loved it. Yeah, still waiting on Bay because he went to get rice from KFC and got the barbecue chicken from the same grill I got mine so I'm just still waiting for him to come but me I'm already enjoying mine yeah so it's amazing yeah, we're almost coming to the end of our trip but I'm still enjoying every bit of the bike but I'm now tired I think I just miss home yeah. so like today I woke up so tired even told me that we should not get we should just stay at the hotel but then we, we say we would waste the whole day so we are here I'm tired though but today at least we finish early it's at 10 p.m. so we just finish eating go to the room maybe I will sleep early today because we've not been sleeping early we've been sleeping late getting up early like you know the breakfast ends at 11 so you should be up before that and my, maybe sometimes you sleep at 4 a.m like it's been crazy yeah because we are up and down looking for stuff you know we don't have much time left and also for us to come back maybe next year or something not not recent not any soon so let me finish my food and then we just go to the hotel like our hotel is very far away the marina side of dubai is far far away i feel like we should have started with the marina side and finished the business bay side because hey that place is far like when we got from data city back home we paid like 87 did have to go back you can imagine and yet when we were at business bay we used to pay like 20 30 yeah it's so far away so that's why we always decide to go with the train yeah only that the train takes a bit of time because it goes through so many stations like 
from Daira City to our hotel, we, we pass like 18 stations to get there. So sometimes you have to take taxi because we are also beating time. So people, Dubai is amazing but come here loaded, you will enjoy every bit of it because everything is nice. Sometimes you get to so many affordable shops and you want everything but you know you can't have everything, yeah. So spending, number one, yeah. You just know this is a tourist country so it's all about business yeah, and enjoyment, yeah. So. We are doing Dubai and buying in Dubai. Yeah. So let me finish my food, then we catch up later. Maybe tomorrow because I'm so tired. I'm not sure if I get the room. We will film, but we will see.